guys, welcome back to this tutorial on Autodesk Fusion 360. Today will be the last lesson. Um, we're going to be first applying a decal to the face of, um, to the head of Oscar's couch. And then we're going to be applying a few appearances here and there. I'm going to be doing the appearances according to my tastes, but feel free to choose whichever ones you want. And we can also apply some final fillets on uh, the design to just make it look a little better. Now. Let's first do the decal. So to apply a decal, I want to look at the face first. So I'm going to get rid of everything that's not face. So main body, and I just have that. That's perfect. Now I want to get a nice front view of this. And I'm going to go insert decal. I'm going to insert this one from my computer. And we're going to be using the same thing we use for the canvas. So wherever you guys have the canvas thing, um, the canvas picture, just use the same one. I'm going to just click on any of these faces, it doesn't matter. Uh, rotate it around using these bars. That looks about right. Let's just center this, and now I can actually expand this further. So, oops, expand this, just use that one and pull it down. And then, looks a little creepy, I know, but uh, yeah, it's it works. Now, let's move this over. Bit down, just a bit. Perfect, perfect, right there. Because it's, his mouth now falls into the place where we actually made that dent, and I'm gonna press OK. The only reason I've made I put the face like this and I put like some type of weird green background behind it is just so it covers these extra areas. We can of course make sure that we like the entire face is covered. Um, if we go to appearances, right? Um, that would load sometimes. Now, there we go. Um, so let's just go down to paint. I want to go for a nice rough outer coat to suit that. And let's go green. Right? Green. So I want faces. Make sure you select faces, otherwise, the whole thing will turn green and that won't work. And just apply to one face for now. Okay. Now what I want to do is, I want to go into this and I want to edit it. And I want to go advanced. Now, sometimes there's an option to apply a, uh, like a color. Now, if you, okay, I can't do it with paint. Let's cancel this a bit. But basically, I want you guys to go and explore this entire area. Feel free to change whatever options you want because you can always set them to default again. But just explore them and see how it um, affects everything. Because sometimes there's an option if, with specific colors and specific uh, appearances, you can actually put a picture in it. Like for example, fabric. If you say you take a cutout or like a, uh, like a little snipping of this much area of that, and then you place that picture into the Dropbox for color, like say for example here, um, then I can, yeah, exactly. See, so there's a texture editor and then there's there's an image basically. So if I take a snapshot of that and then I can place that image into here, then what I can do is I click, if I click on this and I can put it in, um, basically I can create that same pattern. Um, you create that same pattern for that and I can repeat it as an appearance or as a paint. Um, so feel free to explore that. I'm just going to apply this to like a few more faces. So it just looks a little better. And then see if this works. Okay. Yeah, so just apply these appearances for more more of these faces. Okay. Yeah, I'm just gonna leave it like this for now. Feel free to go ahead and apply more appearances. But that's how we apply a decal. So we have that sorted out. Um, and we can actually test this out now, so let's put the lid and the main body back on. And let me animate this. If I open this, yay! We have his eyes just peeking out there. Perfect. That's exactly what we need. Uh, we can, of course, edit this a little bit. For example, um, I could make, um, if I hide the lid and the main body, I could make this shaft longer, and then I can move this one upwards. So that can create, uh, that can make more of him pop out. But I like the eyes popping out. I kind of, I think that it kind of looks good. So main body, that's it. So that's that. 
and we can apply some fillets. So let's see if I put any acrylic fillets over here. Yep, three millimeters on all edges. Okay, three millimeters, and on the side, I put orange on the top, uh, brown, and this bamboo, I think, on the inside. So I'm not going to be telling you guys how to put all the Earth's appearances because I've done that in my introductory course. Please have a look at that um, if you need more information. But anyway, I'm just going to I'm just going to put the fillets in and that should be done. So I'm just going to select all these edges. to three millimeters. That's looking good. Nice. Okay. Uh, the inside you can put fillets the same way. And that's pretty much it really. Just make sure you put the appearances uh, using the diagram below. I could explain everything if you want. So that's orange. That's brown. Um, then I've put uh, lime green. The inside I know I've put bamboo because I thought why not? Bamboo might look good and contrast the color well. This is also made of bamboo completely, including the shaft. And this one, I've actually gone to steel and I've put, I think, galvanized steel. Um, and I've increased the roughness using those advanced options shown. So make sure you do those. That will help you out. Or choose whatever colors you want. Feel free to experiment. And that's it for this series. Thank you so much for watching this series. Um, please leave a, leave a like and subscribe if you liked it and leave a comment if you can know how I can improve it um, or you want me to do anything in the future. So I'm going to be starting a new series soon. It's basically Fusion in a Minute and I'm going to be teaching you every day uh, one feature in Fusion 360 in, uh, in less than a minute or at least around a minute, hopefully. Um, so let's see how that goes. It's going to be super fast, super concise and it's going to be really, it'll be more useful for you guys because I'll be using just basic geometries and basic shapes. Um, and I'm going to be doing it in a general fashion so you can apply it to anything you want. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you so much for watching the series. I uh, hope you guys are doing well during these times. And see you in the next series. Thank you.